Hey everyone, DJ Brawl got here, and today is September 14th, 9-11 at night, and um, if you saw the last gig log, um, I know I'm a very far behind editing videos and such, um, I mentioned my laptop falling over. Now I'm not sure if you totally heard me or not, but let me explain real quick. I had this Uber stand, and um, well, it wasn't sitting like this, it was actually the way I have my coffin, I have it sitting on the lid. So I have the legs sticking right between here, and then that keeps it from really moving too much. Um, but then again, what I did is I kind of got rid of the zip tie, because I find that the most stupid thing ever, and it's the biggest pain in the ass in the end of the night to take it out. So I replaced the zip tie with the Velcro right here, which was probably my first mistake. Um, but really, I don't feel that, I don't feel comfortable with a stand that needs something like a zip tie or a velcro strap to keep it shut. Um, but anyway, so imagine it's sitting here, laptop right on top of here, big gust of wind and bloop, falls straight back. Laptop lands still open and right along the spine right here. So basically after that, um, not only am I a true believer in the spec case, I believe everyone with a MacBook should get one. Also, I've upgraded to a new laptop stand. Now, if you're a Serato uh, user, you've most likely heard of this. This is the Crane Stand. Crane Stand. And um, <coughs> most people will see this as the most overpriced piece of, piece of junk ever. Um, but I am the total opposite after I mean I keep on hearing the reviews on these and people love these But really videos and reviews don't do it justice. You have to play with one of these in person um, These are made in the USA. I feel that this is the most important thing on the entire um, Unit itself is made in the USA patent pending. Um, I know people who have talked to the owners um, I got this from Bernie at audio lines of course if you call them tell them really got sent you you get a great deal on these um, but he's actually worked with the owners, and these people are so adamant about their product, and they love these. These are all handmade. They're um, uh, military-grade aluminum, all ionized and hand-welded. The welds on here are super clean, super strong. I don't think I've ever touched a product that is so sturdy. Now, this thing weighs roughly three pounds. Um, not really bad at all. I mean, it's, it's a lot heavier than my Uber stand was, but I'm getting a hell of a lot more stand for the price, and it's pretty awesome. It still folds totally flat. Um, let me show you how I did all this. Anyway, so it's when you get it, it starts out like this. Um, when you buy them, they come in this nice drawstring bag, and there's a little... Um, Instruction manual in, there, manual in there. I'm not sure why you need an instruction manual for the stand. But it's a nice bag, it's a nice gesture, it's kind of cool. Anyway, so it comes in like this. Like I said, it's three pounds. Um, it's very simple to use. You can just basically, you have these two silver, and, um, I don't know what you would call them really. More, more so clamps than anything. They, they, they basically take this entire rod, there's a giant tension rod in here that stops this from moving. So what you would do is you unfold this to however you want. Now all of these are free moving. It's very important to know that. So you can put these in any configuration that you wish. Um, let's put this in standard position right away. So basically you hold this however you want it. I'm gonna put it at this little angle here and tighten that down. Now, if it's not tight enough, like you can still feel this moving, what you do is you loosen it. And then on this side, this little silver knob spins. This is a tensioning knob and it would get a little bit tougher to lock up, but after, when you're done there, it does not move. Okay, I got to move a little bit. Uh, strength training, what can I tell, tell you? Um, anyway, but really nothing like a gust of wind will move this. Now, same thing for the top. Um, it moves totally freely. You can put it in any position. Um, like I said, a little tension knob, spin that and then lock her down. And this thing is all good to go. Um, and of course, you can put these in any configuration that you wish. You 
could put it like this if you wanted to. And if you had something really, really big, like an Akai, um, like a button matrix for Ableton or something like that, you can do that. Or, um, I'm trying to think. You can put this like this. If you, if you don't want a stand that's oh so high, um, you can definitely bring it down, tighten her up, and bang it down. It is a little tough to close the clamps, I'll, I'll admit that. You do need a little bit of strength to do it, um, but like I said, it's totally worth it because I never want to experience what I experienced that one time my laptop fell. And here you go, it's a little bit shorter. Now, um, a lot of people, uh, mobiles especially, maybe you don't have this kind of room um, behind your, uh, your coffin or your workstation for this uh, big piece of metal for your laptop. I am that kind of person. So that is one drawback. What I did with the Uber stand, like I said, I stuck the legs right between the lid and the actual case itself. And I can do that with this. I can, you know, let me undo this again. Okay, so like I said, I can still do that. All I have to do is stick it right here. The only issue now is because of the tripod design, it goes like this, which is a little bit of an issue. I'll have to adapt to that and figure out some other better way to put my laptop down. Um, as of right now, I'm not quite sure I'll do it, but this is still, I find this totally worth it as I do not want to experience what I did uh, last weekend ever again. There, there's something about a very expensive laptop falling on the ground. Uh, it's just not cool at all. Um, now, this product is $149 um, retail. And like I said, call Bernie at Audio Lines, tell them Roller God sent you, and he'll hook you up with a good price. <coughs> and um, there is a new version of the stand coming out, a uh, crane stand. They've said on the Serato forums that they're working on a second version, which is the same thing basically, but these bars right here are telescopic. So if you want something a little bit uh, taller, you can just pull it out and bam, there it is. Um, there's also going to be a. Um, bracket on the back, you can put your SL1 or your SL3 and strap it right to the stand. Um, now I have heard rumors that if you don't want to wait, you can still buy this stand. Because I remember that in my mind, but since I wanted to get this really soon, I was like, oh, maybe I'm an early adopter and I'm going to regret it. But I've heard rumors that you'll be able to um, buy an upgrade kit to get the telescopic bars on the first stand. All you have to do is unscrew the tension knobs and then all this comes out. This is one piece, the bars are uh, two pieces, and then the base is one piece, and then you just have the threads that are inside of here, and you'll be able to swap them out with the telescopic bars, which is pretty cool. So, like I said, this is an awesome product. It's super, super solid. I've never really felt anything so sturdy in my life, and I'm pretty impressed by this. I mean, it's the little things on here. Every single edge of metal is covered by with, with rubber on it. There's little O-rings. It's the little things of mine. There's little O-rings right here to prevent scratching, because this is all metal. So there's little O-rings everywhere to prevent scratching on your laptop or whatever this is mounted on. And there's rivers over here. But it's really, really cool. Definitely check it out. Uh, all I can say is practice and enjoy.